Welcome, uh, Katrin Zucco, to our Tuesday discussion today. My name is Christoph Mauch. I'm the director of the Rachel Carson Center for Environment and Society here in Munich, and I'm moderating the Tuesday discussion together with Gisa Lüdecke. We're alternating. Uh, it's a great pleasure to have Katrin Zucco here, the chair of the board of the Michael Zucco Foundation. And Michael Zucco is known to many in Germany because he's one of the leading figures. I would say he's, he is the leading figure uh, in environmental protection. And he is the uh, recipient of what is called the Alternative Nobel uh, Prize in uh, Environmental Prize, the Right Livelihood Award. It's wonderful to have Katrin here. Uh, I, uh, I've known her for quite some time, but when I first met her, I did not know that she was not originally from Bavaria. And I also did not know that she's working in environment because she was running a cultural foundation here in Munich. But she's originally, originally not from the landscape that you see behind her. Now that I see that landscape, that's uh, where she lives. It's uh, close to the Alps. It's a, it's a moraine, a terminal moraine landscape. But she comes from another terminal moraine landscape in northern Germany, in, in uh, Brandenburg. Uh, and uh, that's where she grew up. And maybe that's why she moved from one to the other. Uh, over the last few years, she's lived in this area and uh, it shows her dedication and her love of this type of landscape. Um, Katrin Zucco uh, comes from the former GDR. Her grandparents uh, were farmers, uh, but they were dispossessed, uh, which uh, can tell you something about their relationship to the state. They, uh, if you were a farmer, a proud farmer who had a big farm and then had to tend your cattle instead and were working with others, uh, the, uh, they were not super happy to, uh, to be doing this. And uh, her family was not exactly very um, pro-state, which also had repercussions for everybody uh, in her family at the time. Uh, she did not uh, study like many others, but she became a gardener. She went to the university to become a gardener. Um, and uh, she was involved in uh, political work uh, in within the church, which was the only part where you could actually be politically active. She was very political. And in 1990, uh, with the collapse of the GDR and with the first free elections, actually many things changed, both for her family, but also for her father. Her father was the first deputy minister for the environment in the GDR, in the, in the first free elections of the GDR. He was uh, also in charge of, the, of nature protection. I think 7% of, of the GDR uh, area are uh, protected uh, <clears throat> through uh, parks like biosphere uh, reserves, etc. cetera. Katrin uh, moved to the West and in 1999, two years after her father received the alternative uh, Nobel Prize for the environment, uh, she started a foundation with him. The foundation is based originally on the money that came out of that prize, on the award money. She was the uh, managing director for many years until I think 2014. But she's had so many other positions. Uh, she was, uh, among other things, working for a mill that is part of the Naturschutzbund. Uh, she, uh, she was uh, also running uh, the, uh, well, she was a communications director of the National Association of German Foundations, and she was a lobbyist for several governments, uh, state governments in Germany, advisor uh, for environmental protection. I could go on and on. I think it's no exaggeration to say that Katrin Zukov, there may be people who know more about environmental organizations, there may be people who know more about foundations, but nobody in Germany or anybody that I could imagine knows more about that intersection. She's an incredible networker in this field of environmental uh, foundations. And uh, I, while I would like to tell you more about her work, this is exactly what she is going to do. Uh, so please uh, welcome uh, Katrin Sukho. Thank you very much, um, Christoph, Professor Mauch, for your introduction. Good afternoon. Um, I'm so happy that you are here and not at the lake in the summertime in the garden or so on. You are interested in environment and society. Um, it's, it's a very important topic since a lot of years and um, my focus since more than 30 years you told about it. Um, it's not necessary to uh, tell you something about my father before I start um, because Christoph, you have done that very good. Um, let's go. 
So, okay, you can see all the things. Yes, it's possible to see. Yeah, I cannot hear you. Okay, it's everything's it's okay. perfect. Yeah, we can see. Okay, I can't hear you, but I think it will be good. Um, yes, um, I you you see the, the yes the agenda for these um, fifteen minutes. I will need. Um, let's start. The mankind and nature in the twenty first century. Mm, the rea reality is. If we leave nature untouched, we cannot exist. But the reality too, it's if we destroy nature, we will perish. Such as in result, um, our, therefore our society can only successfully walk the fine line between change and destruction. If we act within the framework of ecological balance and we, if we identify ourselves as integral um, part of nature. That's our claim. In, uh, it is our most urgent task to protect nature, but not for the sake of nature, but for the sake of us, of the mankind. You know that. Um, this is um, this is a picture from uh, the celebration. This um, moment um, on December sixth in 1997 in Stockholm at the House of Parliaments. I was there too uh, when my father uh, get this alternative um, Nobel Prize, so-called Nobel Prize. Um, alternative Nobel Prize, um, the right name is Right Livelihood Award. You know, maybe you know, um, it came from Jakob from Uxkühl. Um, he has collected stamps and uh, then he um, has given this uh, collection and voted an own foundation, this uh, right, uh, uh, alternative um, Nobel Prize foundation. Um, but, uh, it, uh, yes. Um, the founder, I have made a photo, um, he's an, a specialized in different things and I'm, every time I'm very deep impressed if he is um, in a landscape and he can show to the, to the air and can tell you so much about landscape, ecology, about history and the genesis of landscape. But um, in the same moment, it's possible for him to um, show you a plant, a subspecies from, and um, this is so, uh, not so um, often to find that um, somebody knows both worlds, both um, spaces, the, the very big and the very, very, very small. Um, in my opinion, he has, in the, in the last years, um, he is 80 years old, he is very active, and I think in the last years, um, so much more spirituality is in um, this man, in him, um, his personality, a lot of sensitivity and um, a big portion of uncompromising. You know what I mean? He tells we don't have so much time for waiting for mediation and so on. We have to um, go ahead now and not to wait long, more longer. And therefore, he is so happy about um, this Fridays, the movement of Fridays for Future, for example. Um, he is uh, uh, active in two um, subjects. The first, I think um, it's possible to say is, um, sorry, is um, pr to preserve cultural land. Oh no, so, 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 so wilderness. Wilderness is its um, most important subject. And you know that um, only 
0.6% of the area of the um, uh, whole area of Germany is a wilderness um, um, areas and about 20% of the world terrestrial um, area are wilderness areas. Um, the other is cultural landscape. And here it's very important for us, for our um, Yes, for our work every day, um, to work together with indigenous people, with nomads, with rural population in the different countries we are active in, and um, not only um, have to have a, a, a focus to nature. That's very important. It's his um, idea all the life. Um, Christoph told about this national program of the GDR, this former GDR, in 1990. Um, um, Christoph, uh, maybe you can translate Tafel Silber der Nation, <laughs> so called, you well, know? Well, it's a real treasure of the, it's a real yeah. treasure, national treasure. Yes, okay, yes, national treasure, yes, of course. Um, you see uh, this treasure, what was the base of this treasure? Um, this were um, small reserves, re nature reserves, um, governmental hunting areas in the former GDR, uh, military training areas, and uh, of course, in a German border zone, borderline um, green belt of Germany. Um, what was the idea? To make three categories national parks we we haven't had national parks in in the gdr because national parks is an idea from the usa and therefore it um, is forbidden for um soviet union and uh, east germany and the other eastern um, countries until 1990. bias bias reserves this is a category from uh unesco we have had in the gdr we have had two bias reserves in western germany um, there were no biosphere reserve, of course, because it's um, we have made in GDR, we have made the things who um, they doesn't make in Western Germany. Yes, uh, it was reality. And nature parks, you know, but uh, the nature parks from these, bio, uh, these national park programs were nature parks of a new type. Um, not in, um, in, in, in at first for making tourism, but for um, nature protection. And uh, what uh, something about the factors for success? Um, very important. Um, it's it's possible to know. Uh, it's necessary to know. This was a window of opportunity. Some months in 1990. Um, it was the, 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 the yes. These people has have has had a vision, a clear concept, and a goal. And um, a, the, my father built a task force, a broad a participation, of course, it's necessary, and um, support of different um, people. Um, uh. So, and in result, five national parks, six biosphere reserves, three nature parks of this new type. And uh, in totally, this were 4.5% uh, uh, of uh, the area of the GDR. And some nature parks, um, they were made to real nature parks in the next years. And um, a national park, for example, un, uh, down the upper uh, Oder Valley, you know, number 15, is made um, twen uh, five years later. Um, last year, we have had the 25th um, uh, birthday of this national park. It was a movement beginning in 1990. Um, so. 
important um, is to see that we have had a lot of supports of very um, good support, for example, from lawyers too, not only from people from uh, nature protection, that's important. Um, and this national park program is accepted in the unification contract of United Germany. You know, um, in it starts started as a um, idea of um, some people of uh, in a in a I will say in a um, undercover network of uh, friends and um, the um, in, in the end was um, this this part of unification contract of um, uh, United Germany until today. What's going on? In 1997, this alternative Nobel Prize um, was given him. And in 1999, I um, created this um, Michael Zuko Foundation um, in Greifswald. Uh, the, the money from the prize um, we have given to this uh, foundation as well was our seed money. It's a charitable, uh, charitable uh, foundation under German civil code, of course. Um, it's an operational foundation. We are we know uh, we are not a foundation who gives money to other foundations, projects, and so on. Uh, we are a, a We, are, um, we make our own things with partners. That's the difference. Um, today, uh, you see 30 employers, most of them, 20, uh, are um, paid by um, project, um, two years, three years, five years, one year, or so on. And um, this board, um, there I'm the chairman or chairwoman of, um, these are seven members. Um, in the first years, I was uh, the first um, director of this foundation, um, but without money, only uh, by myself, um, uh, near, uh, neben, uh, yeah, together with my uh, other jobs. Um, corporations um, are so much important for foundations. For example, with this Greifswald Moor Zentrum, GMC, um, Greifswald Moor Zentrum, GMC, are 50 scientists, um, ecologists, and so on. They uh, are working in Greifswald uh, together with the University of Greifswald. Um, science, sciences, practice, and politics. This, um, to, to close these three uh, things is uh, the idea of this um, Greifswald Moor Zentrum. Um, peatlands and nature conservation, um, swamp lands, um, mire lands, and so on. Um, in the last years, since Corona, I will say, um, this idea of climate change, of um, more uh, mire protection, um, makes an makes a good eye uh, um, and uh, good good uh, way in uh, entwicklung um, um, going on. How to say development? Uh, development, of course. You know, um, we've lot of, uh, we 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 see a lot of um, media in, uh, interest of media and uh, the um, donations are developing too. Uh, we are happy about that. Uh, you see the other corporation is Biosphere Reserve Center. Um, three, you know the HNEE, this uh, Hochschule Nachhaltige Entwicklung in Eberswalde. Um, and Nationale Naturlandschaften, that's the umbrella organization of biosphere reserves, natural parks, and national parks in Germany. Um, 
it's, uh, the idea is uh, to um, help or to support sustainable development in um, yes, Germany, this uh, moment in Germany. I'm sorry. The goals um, you can see our important is our mission statement or guiding principle preserve, sustain, and preserve value, erhalten, haushalten, wert halten. Um, I think I don't have to read this. Wetlands, um, you must uh, know, are peatlands, more swamps areas all over the world. And I will show you the, uh, where we have our projects. Um, we are engaged in pr different projects since 1999 um, on four continents. Um, we are not in um, Northern America. Uh, you see the countries we are uh, engaged, not um, uh, in some countries only with one or two projects in some countries for a long time. For example, um, Ethiopia and Mongolia. My father was during the GDR time because um, the government of GDR needed um, specialists and not only political uh, experts. And therefore, it was possible for him uh, to go to Ethiopia and um, Mongolia a lot of uh, times. Um, 30 times he was in Ethiopia, he says, and um, not one time as a tourist, um, every time for um, make um, nature protection or other things for our um, uh, foundation. Yes. Mm. Okay, let me go to some countries um, in big steps. Uh, you see Mongolia, we have uh, um, worked together with WWF, WWF in uh, Mongolia. Uh, this was our first project um, in 1992. And now we have the situation that 89 protected areas, um, uh, yes, protected areas different, of different kind of area um, covers this uh, very beautiful and um, yeah, important country um, near China. You see Russia, Russia is a very, oh, sorry, a very important partner country um, since the first moment. We work together with Russia, uh, with um, Greenpeace Russia. And um, you see, for example, this uh, in the, it was the first um, project in the beginning of uh, in cooperation with Greenpeace, I told. Um, this was a transboundary project too with uh, Norwegia and uh, Finland. Um, interesting too, transboundary too, is um, this Lena Delta in German, uh, Lena Delta Reserve in uh, the Republic of Sacha. Nobody knows Sacha. Um, it's the biggest delta of a river of whole Arctic uh, region in Siberia. And here you can see um, this um, idea to make a world nature heritage, world natural heritage in um, Kamchatka. You see, in it was it was in uh, 1998, the time before we have made this uh, our foundation. Um, you can uh, imagine that uh, the things are not going on step by step. Some uh, we are player in the political um, landscape, of course. 
And another country from a Soviet Union, a union is um, Azerbaijan. Most of uh, you will know Azerbaijan only uh, from Baku um, oil and uh, not from the landscape, from uh, nature protection. Um, it's a very beautiful, different country. I like it very much. Um, Gobustan, Shirvan, um, Hirkan here in the south, Hirkan, these are, um, I, I think I have uh, Gob um, Shirvan, yes, uh, this is um, this uh, Gazelle in, in German, Kopfgazelle, uh, this Geisel. I think to see say gazel. Um, this uh, gazel is live is the most uh, is a gazel. Uh, he lives in the most northern um, parts of the world, not in the south. Uh, you know, in Af uh, Africa or so on. Um, it was hunting in uh, since Neolithic, and in this Gobustan um, rock drawings you can see until today. Um, a little bit now is our national parks in Azerbaijan and um, there's tourism and uh, rangers and so on. Uh, let's have a um, uh, uh, focus, let's all have our focus to Belarus. Um, these projects in Belarus we make to, uh, together with Otto Foundation, Michael Otto Group, you know, is a, he has an own foundation and uh, for uh, peatlands and um, mires and uh, swamplands. Uh, the idea is to um, re-wetting regions and um, this is an, a big area of retention for Germany, uh, sorry, for Europe. Let's go on. Belarus, you know, Pripyat is a, a, a river and uh, the project is going on with uh, Otto Foundation, I thought, and with RSBB um, from uh, Great Britain. Turkmenistan, uh, different kinds of um, parks and uh, world heritage sites uh, since 2010. It's not so easy to work in Turkmenistan like in the other countries in this region because of the political situation and so on. I will show you Saksaul forests in um, there because Saksaul is very important in fighting against this desertification, um, important to cultify and to plant and to earn. Um, it's a tree and a shrub, sometimes until 10, at 10 or 12 meters high. Let's go to Ukraine. Ukraine, uh, we work together with uh, WWF of course, and um, these are very old and um, I think beautiful um, uh, 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 Wälder. Um, oh, thank God. Uh, Forest. Forest. Forest, of course. Forests and um, today uh, this region together with other um, uh, countries in um, Europe is um, under um, is, is called Welt Naturerbe, World Nature Heritage, since 2002. Um, and in the first years, it was only UNESCO Biosphere Reserve. Um, you see, step by step, it's possible to uh, make these programs. Um, Iron, uh, I will uh, show you. Um, since this is a, a chart from 2017, since 2019, um, this region is um, a part of the list of World Heritage Sites um, of the UNESCO. Um, it was very successful. And um, this is Georgia. Georgia, uh, former Soviet Union, too, in the um, Black Sea, near of the Black Sea. Um, 
is we hope that next next chart we hope that um, these uh, rainforests and wetlands uh, kolchis also uh, kolchische wälder um, uh, will um, get the this um, nomination of unesco and uh, in june of this year we have um, uh, we get a very good uh, signal from Paris last week, and that will be uh, next uh, our next um, success. Let's have um, um, oh my okay. Let's uh, go to Germany. Um, our foundation is the owner of 1,400 hectares of natural heritage land uh, in um, Mecklenburg-Vorpommern and um, two areas in Brandenburg, northern of Brandenburg. Um, what's the idea? To have own uh, areas. The idea is monitoring, of course, um, model uh, nature trails, uh, regular excursions for environmental education, for example, and um, area management um, best practice. But uh, you can imagine it's a long way to reach because the interests of um, tourism and landowners and agriculture or forestry and so on, they are very different. Um, and there we have to mediate, to speak, to uh, make um, activities uh, activity circles and um, to speak with, with the people uh, daily doing, yes. Here you see uh, different kinds of um, you see the Baltic Sea very uh, nice um, old forest tree regions, for example, Goa or Lanken. Um, you can go by a, a bicycle or um, have um, excursions by foot or so on. Um, small um, trip to fellowships. Um, we have uh, two or three, but I will show you only two fellowships. Um, for, um, most important is this Marion Dönhoff Foundation Fellowship. Marion Dönhoff, you know from the site in Hamburg. And um, we work together with this uh, foundation. Um, our fellowship is aimed at postgraduate students uh, with professional experience as well as activities uh, or, or activists in um, civil society. Um, it means um, journalists and um, actives, activists, uh, they fight for um, better um, conditions or environmental situation in their countries from uh, Ukraine, Estonia, Latvia, Moldavia, and so on. Um, that's... Right. The other um, fellowship is Eva Klein scholarship. Eva Klein, um, I, uh, she was died in um, 2005. She was uh, one of our best um yeah pupils and and, and um, activi activists in uh, former time um her parents have given us this eva klein stipendium scholarship um we are very thankful for that um in my um, preparation for this uh, lecture, I thought uh, there is a verbindung, um, an idea um, between Rachel Carson and um, this kind of fellowships to be to be active for environment on nature protection. Um, 
Yes, uh, at last, um, you see how we are working, what's important, our working style, um, to be in dial dialogue, to create confidence, um, to go in uh, or, or to see to conflict preventation with different um, people from uh, own land users or landowners, tourists I told about. Um, this is a picture from the island of film, uh, a workshop, international workshop. Um, to be in the field, of course, excursions are very important. In the last year, Corona was not so easy, but you know this from other uh, international projects. Um, I'm very happy that now in the last weeks, months, uh, the things are going on, um, international nature protection projects. Yes, of course, young generation is very, sorry, it was too, uh, it's, 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 yes, most and, and, and important people. And my father uh, likes so much to work together, to stay together, to be together in the morning, in the evening, uh, hold the day with young people. And um, that's uh, a good spirit. Yes, my... Mm. Yes, uh, okay, it's not necessary to say something about. Um, these um, charts are from our um, annual report from 1990. Uh, I will show you um, only this uh, to, to have an idea about our um, funding. Um, you see donations, 30%. In 1990, um, only 10%. 1980, 15%. This was 1960, a lot of donations. Um, project funding um, in 1990, 90%. It varies um, year, of, uh, year to year. Uh, then let's uh, have one um, look to one view to our fundraising and donorship activities. Um, you can imagine that's very important to uh, make activities for, um, for, for donor money uh, for the projects, of course. Um, the donations and external donations are tax deductible, of course, in Germany. Um, the donations and endowments are welcome, of course, and it's uh, possible to make uh, corporate social uh, responsibility project, uh, for example, enterprises are interested in uh, sponsorship uh, ships, for example, for a Maya um, protection area, uh, donorships or donates uh, instead of gifts for um, birthday or so on, voluntary and so on. Um, we have, uh, we are very happy um, to have uh, donations from different uh, foundations for a lot of years. Um, we work together um, very uh, closely and uh, heartful, and that's that's fine. It's a good base. Mm. Private individual, private persons uh, too. Uh, here you can see uh, two and uh, 2.8 million of uh, turnover. Um, I think in 220, uh, yes, 220 and uh, 21, um, it's going up to uh, three and uh, 3.1 or 3.2 uh, million turnover. We are active, we are fighting and the sun is here and um, it is growing up. Uh, yes. Um, that means my idea is for the next years, um, we want to be an active player in the society. 
not only uh, making uh, uh, nature protection um, in classics, um, our foundation is in a transformation process. Uh, in this time, last year, the begin was, it was beginning and in the end of this year, it will um, close uh, with external help and support. Um, the, in, uh, one month ago, we have um, decided a strategy for the a new strategy for uh, of our foundation, and uh, this was the base of um, specific concepts for um, communication, for fundraising, for um, land use, for Maya, and so on. Um, I think very important for success is um, to have an engaged staff and um, in a competent board and they have to work together, of course. And um, then my father, he is very active until today. We, uh, we, we are by telephone or I am going to him to uh, six, every six weeks or four weeks. Um, I'm every day uh, in, in, con uh, in, in conference calls and so on with the staff. Um, but I think uh, we need long-term corporations. And one of these type uh, we will start in August of this year with uh, Otto um, Foundation um, to re-wetting um, Meyers in Germany and in Baltic. Uh, read, uh, Baltic countries. Yes, um, 15 minutes are very, very, very over. Um, you see my address and email and so on. Um, and I will finish with, an, with a picture of Caspar David Friedrich, um, the Baltic Sea, um, the Kreidefelsen in the time of Romantic in 1805. Today, it's one of these uh, national parks from this uh, national park program of the GDR in the north of, the, um, of Germany. Very, um, it's a jewel of this treasure <laughs> point. That's it. <laughs> 